viewers, you are welcome to the Daily Focus. My name is Joseph Kofi. Thanks for joining us today. I will be having a showbiz talk tonight. And I have a wonderful, uh, beautiful, elegant guest in the house, uh, which I'll be introducing shortly. But before then, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name is Joseph Kofi. Facebook is Daily Focus TV and all other social media handles, Daily Focus. I'll be back. Hello, viewers. You are welcome back to the Daily Focus. My name is Joseph Kofi. As I said earlier on, uh, tonight we'll be talking showbiz. This is the number one interactive talk show where we discuss a lot of current issues happening in Ghana and across uh, the globe. Tonight I have in the house Mariam Nimigo one of the best fast rising actress uh, in Ghana and also uh, into the entertainment industry and she's a student from the University of Ghana and tonight we'll be having an interactive show with her. Let me go. You are welcome to the Daily Focus. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to have you. Yeah, it's how is how is everything? Mm, by his grace, all is well. We are just coping. Thank you. And how is school too? Hmm, it's stressing, but we are managing things. We are managing things. Yeah, it was so true. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Today we'll be delving into. Ghana movie industry and what is left for the youth. And since uh, you are in this industry, uh, you might have one or two challenges uh, facing the youth coming up. Uh, so, how is the industry? Well, it's cool for a couple of years now. It hasn't been so flourishing. Okay. When you are talking to the producers, the directors, it's all about the sense of money, finance. Mm. I think they, they risk on, should I say, they fear to risk. And in investment, when you invest in something, it's a, a lose or win game. Okay. Yes. But now, because of how things are, people fear investing huge sum. Mm -hmm. and not getting it back or something so they are not actually making the job nice mm. yeah. and now everybody wants to taste fame mm -hmm. especially the young girls we always want to to blow mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and to blow yes mm. it has also been an issue so they try all possible means to get the attention of the public mm -hmm. which is also another problem Okay, there's this project you are coming out with, uh, Kaswa's Liquids. Yes. Uh, how far is this project? Oh, yeah. So it's basically about how slave queens they do their things, like they read things that push them mm -hmm. to the street to indulge in those deviant behavior that we see them. Mm -hmm. People normally think it's, it's the money, or probably they have a very comfortable place, but because of diverse reason or I don't know peer pressure, mm -hmm. they go into such companies. But when you delve more into it, some people are really suffering. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't wish or they have never wanted to be in such situation. Mm -hmm. But due to the current problem, the financial challenges, the school dropout, the everything that makes people successful because they are lacking. They think um, the easiest way to survive is to indulge into slaying and in Ghana you know when somebody says a slave queen mm -hmm. it's assumed that a person who a lady mm -hmm. who 
sleeps or involves in so many men to attract wealth or fancy things. Okay. Yeah. So why do you name why do you name Castle? Why Castle? Yeah, you see <laughs> currently there are so many things going on in Kasoa. Yes. Yes. And when you go there you find so many slave queens, scammers, like things are really happening. Mm. Do you live there yourself? Yes, I'm not actually, I'm not currently in Kasua, but I'm at New Botsiano. Okay. That is on the Kasua road, but I'm not mm. inside Kasua. A lot of things are actually going in Kasua. Yes. Mm. Yes. Recently, some uh, small boys just killed their, their friend just for money. money. Mm. So the pressure that the society is also giving to the youth, and I don't know, maybe contemporary our parents are not doing enough for something because how will a 16 year old boy will think of blowing in just a night mm. what is the parent doing what are the communications that he actually involved himself in what are the things surrounding him which is attracting him to do all these things mm -hmm. so a lot a lot of things so who is the director of this uh, oh yeah it's nana don okay. mm. so. and uh, the producer um, the producers, I think they are quite few. Mm. Actually, not many. Okay, okay, but you are actually playing a major role. Yes, I am. In this, this movie. Okay, so uh, we will be moving to Hector Pipolo issue since uh, she's also in this uh, industry. industry. We will be moving to that, but we will go for short break when we come back. Hello, you are welcome back to the Daily Focus. My name is Joseph Kofi. Uh, we are discussing Ghana movie industry what is left for the youth. And I have in the house Mimi Gold, uh, also known as Mariam, uh, movie actress and uh, final year students in the University of Ghana. Mimi Gold, you are back. Yeah. Uh, so, have you heard uh, about the equipment for the issue? Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's a very sensitive, dedicated, Quite a sad issue. I, as a woman, though I'm, I'm not given birth, but you can just imagine when your mother is not with you how it feels. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't also overlook the fact that he discredited women by showing your whole nakedness. And it's even not our culture. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have been a big deal in in any other country. But when you come to Ghana, mm -hmm. we have our own like our way of doing things. So. Mm -hmm. As a woman, it's it discredited our whole being, okay. our womanhood. Yes, it's so not. So the the ninety days or the three months imprisonment is is okay. Uh, well, I think it's quite harsh. Like it's it's quite quite harsh because he, she is Amanda. She's also the breadwinner. So we'll be taking care of this child mm -hmm. in case there is nobody that she can actually rely and. Yeah, take care of the child. It means like the child will also be in the street doing nothing. So yeah. I think they could have reduced the punishment to fun or even communal labor. Mm -hmm. It has actually never happened before mm -hmm. for a, 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 let me say a celebrity, now she is, mm -hmm. to be cleaning the gases, doing this, doing that. It will serve as a measure um, lesson to others who want to venture or to do such similar things, yes. But the imprisonment is quite sad because we, we have people who are really committing serious atrocities, serious crime, and we are overlooking. Are we saying because they have money, because they have the power, or because they have the links? Yeah, I feel it's quite, it's quite harsh or it's so unfair, it's so extreme. Yeah, the 30 days is a bit extreme. They could have. Use the ninety days. Yeah, the ninety days. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, we are moving to the VGMA 
the nominations are out. Uh, who, who is your favorite musician? <laughs> the Shatta Wallet. Uh, okay, Shatta. Okay. Apart from Shatta. Oh, you have only one favorite? Favorite is Shatta, but I like people. I mean, you see, like is natural. But to have a favorite is a choice, it's a decision. Mm -hmm. yes. So you can give us one of my shut up song. Any. Any, any shut up song. Uh, because shut up is watching. Eh, hey, yeah, I know. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, okay. I know my level. Right? Okay. Yeah. You want to hear your voice. Hey. You, want, you want to hear your voice. Your voice singing. Mm -hmm. So maybe today I don't get nothing, mm -hmm. but tomorrow I don't get something. Let's go. And I go buy a motor for my mouth. Uh -huh. But the enemy won't worry me. Let's go. I go share the okay strategy. Mm -hmm. And now we so deal, now we so deal, we start to. Let's go. So you see my song go. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of the Oh, okay. Where is on that note? You are going for a short break. When we come back, I will continue with the show. Yeah. Welcome to the Daily Focus. Uh, we are still on the showpiece hub, and Mimi Gold is still in the house, and we are discussing Ghana movie industry, what is left uh, for the youth. And currently, we are talking about the VGMA nomination uh, before we went for a short break. Mimi Gold. So about the nomination, what do you have to say about the nomination? Not that much because my favorite is not there. So, but I have people that I like, like Sam Cotier, Naira Hamilton, Kitty, Hamid I mean, yeah, I like all them. You like it. them. It's just that your favorite is not. Fortunately. Fortunately. Yeah. When you compare the um, previous concert and what has happened last year and this year, you could see the massive loss. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shatter and Stumble are two major players in this industry. Mm -hmm. And I think they just the two of them is a, a source of revenue to the VGMA. Mm -hmm. So they not being part of this show, mm -hmm. it's going to cause them uh, like massive loss. Really? Of course. Mm -hmm. Because I have a platform that's there is a group, Shatawale group, and everybody votes. Mm -hmm. So I think 2019 or so, we all voted through Momo. Mm -hmm. So you see, you can see that I don't normally do this voting, voting, but when it, because it was Shata, mm -hmm. yeah, so you can count the likes of myself, those who love Shata and Stonewall, and we're actually paying or voting through this electronic, uh, through the Momo or something. Yeah. Yeah, so you can he see the huge amount they will lose mm -hmm. by sidelining these two bigger artists. Mm -hmm. And you can also see the vibes when they are on stage. Yeah. I mean, every all the concentration is centered on VGM. VGM, but right now, what uh, community is doing, Kid is doing, Kim Promise is doing. So mm -hmm. th there is no like major com competition. Yeah. And in life, competition is good. Like we have healthy competition. Yeah. It helps develop people, the country, the nation as a whole. Mm -hmm. But I think, well, we'll take it like that. Yeah, okay. Viewers, this is the Daily Focus. My name is Joseph Kofi. I have many gold in the house. And uh, we are talking Ghana movie industry. You can uh, like our page, you send your comments. And then all will be attended to daily focus team. Uh, so before we close, Ghana movie industry, what is left for the youth? 
the upcoming attacks and addresses. What, what is left for them? Is this something good? Eh? Of course, since we have um, our predecessors, or do I mean, we still have major team players in the industry, mm -hmm. which is talent based. They don't actually got this fame from those unnecessary tension or something. They got it through their talent. People know them through their talent. So they are there to shape the youth. And they have so many initiatives, so many ideas to build this industry. I think the government should also help when it comes to finance. But people overlook, some nations overlook this entertainment industry. And it's, it's also play a major role in the economic affair of a nation. So if the government is investing in these, they will go far. Like this, when the COVID came, people were bored and they were streaming on YouTube, Netflix, and this media, medium or media gives money. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if people will actually invest in the movie industry, I think it, it will help, it will also help a lot. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Is there any different from the Puma and the English? Well, in every state, I believe they have like Nigeria. I like watching Nigerian movies a lot, and you know, in every state they have um, actors or actors, but they sum up to the Nollywood. <coughs> yeah, so I think Kumawood, Kumawood, I think the the nature or the genesis of acting in Ghana started from Kumawood. So we can't just overlook that aspect or that sector of the movie industry. They are all doing well. Yeah, it's up to us to support. Is there our, any discrimination <coughs> between the two industries? It's just the language barrier. Yeah. It's just the language barrier. Even some people can speak to you fluently and they can also speak English. Yes. Very virtually. Yeah, but you know, Kumawood is basically tree. Okay. Yes, that's our native. It's basically, and you know, should I say 80% of Ghanaians can they understand trees yeah. or they can speak, if not fluently, I yeah. mean they, they can express themselves well. Yeah. So So it's casual sleeping in the the local dialect. Well it speaks of is like variety of languages combined. People are we already have Nigerians, mm -hmm. we have our local people like I wouldn't say the illiterate but people who are so good in the tree. And we have people who can also express in English and the 50 50 people are there, so there's a variety of. Okay, okay so before you leave uh, the show, you want to give shout out to some people. And what do you want to tell uh, the young ones coming uh, out there? Yeah, so I'm a youth and I'm not into pressure. I don't, most me, like me especially, I'm not moved by what I see. Or what I, I see a person doing or what somebody is doing. I have my focus. So I, I want to urge you to have your plans. If you have a plan, everything goes smoothly. But if you are not there, because you've not planned your life, whatever pops up or somebody, some, whatever you hear from someone, you just tend doing the thing. Yeah. But because you have a plan, you set yourself a goal or an aim to achieve, yeah. you work towards that direction. So people, some people are actually deviating from the reason why we were created or they are doing something else from what they should be doing because of pressure. Mm -hmm. So many factors, like there are so many factors in, in this thing. So I want them to take the time, plan their life and shouldn't, shouldn't have joy or fun for what they see in social media. Because some people, it, it's just for the fun, just for the camera. Mm -hmm. Some, it's fake. Because you can, even when you are on campus and you are going for a lecture, you are going out for your dates or anything, you can borrow your friends, the phone, I mean phone is something personal, yeah. shoe, bag, and if you can write to and your friend has a car, you, so you will take a picture definitely, mm -hmm. and you post it there. Mm -hmm. You don't know the source of the person's person. worth, or you don't know how the person got that thing, so it shouldn't even attract you in the first place. Mm -hmm. You can admire and work towards achieving it, yeah. but it shouldn't be something you, you are eager for it, something that is going to make you go the extent and extreme to get it. I mean, life is not about race, it's about inner competition, where you want to be, the next future, the next two, 
even tomorrow. So it's about you. Life is about you and how you want it. We should look at them. And even if you, you have somebody like a mentor or like an inspirational person that you look up to, you should learn about the genius of the person. The person that didn't stand up and blow. It's a process. Life is a process. So I think all of us should take our time, know ourselves better, develop ourselves, and we will also get there. Okay. Any shout outs? Oh, yes. I'm a quite a so fan. Yeah, so, shout out to my quite a so people, my mom, my brothers, my sister, like everybody behind now, mommy, everybody, those in quite a so. Amaz girls, Legon girls, Harry, Mona, Aisha, Yvette, all, oh, Putin, Gabby, my squad. Ben, Philip, like all of you, shout out to Angie, Tina, Tina Mons Media. Yes, thank you for the support and Sharif. Baby, 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 thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I know you are a good dancer. No, have, I can't have, dance, so. I have, we should dance before you end the show. Oh, okay. no. That will happen in the next <laughs> show. You prepare well and then uh, we'll give you a bit. Alright, uh, maybe if that time I'm not fasting because I'm supposed to exercise enough energy. energy. Okay, viewers, that's Mimi Gold. Uh, my name is Joseph Kofi. And we have been watching the Daily Focus, uh, Ghana movie industry, what is left for the youth. Until uh, next week, catch you.